Yes, guys. On my way to go pick up a package on this beautiful Saturday. This beautiful Saturday. Today, I hear it's minus 12 in Toronto right now. Whoa, minus 12 in Toronto. In 300 meters, turn right onto Hope Road. Take the next right onto Hope Road. every day selling his flowers it's not even valentine's day one thing i gotta say he's a hustler man every day rain or shine he's out here and i love that i love that i love that about jamaicans you always find somebody uh, even if it's as small as some apples they're out here trying to also the apples or the bananas you know? to me that's very inspirational it's almost like you know in 300 meters turn left onto Winchester Road nobody shouldn't have any excuse nobody shouldn't have any excuse and the sun is the sun is no joke the sun is no joke. Take the next left onto Winchester Road, then your destination will be on the right. So to be out here in the sun like that, hustling, especially at 12 o'clock, 11, when the sun is at its, its peak, you have to respect that, man. You have to respect that. Your destination is on the right. So yeah, we've arrived. Uh, this 
driveway here, man. They need to smooth out this driveway. It's like torture for these tires. Oh, yeah. After this, I'm gonna, gonna pick up this package. I'm gonna go get some soup. I've been thinking about some uh, some soup from yesterday. Because of the traffic, I didn't end up going. And I went to that restaurant, Piñatas or whatever. What a waste of money. Sometimes you see some of these big, big restaurants and the food is not good. You know, this food is not, it's almost like they spent more time making the place look pretty than to spend the time getting people who can cook. You know? Yeah. Food is no good, man. It was cold too, and I said to the lady, like, the food is cold, you know? That's what I get though, because I had no intention to buy no buy no food. I wanted soup, but the problem is I left out around two, so you know it's gonna be a lot of traffic. So I'm like, oh, let me just stop here instead. To me, some of the best cooked food is not in these nice restaurants in my experience some of the best cooked food is in when you go to like the garrison communities you know when you're in the ghetto yeah all right guys i'll be right back all right guys we're leaving md carrier i don't recommend you come to md carrier on a saturday do not do it. Do not do it. Line is long. Anyways, I don't know what I was thinking. Come in here on a Saturday. I need to pave off back here too. I need to pave off back here. Come here on a Saturday. Do not come here on a Saturday. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go visit the soup man in the earth circle. Hopefully this camera holds up because after I because of where the camera is situated, it, it overheats very quickly. It overheats very quickly. Because of where it's located. So now we're on route Van Road. know if I pronounce that properly. Ruth Ben.
UPS office on the left. Surprised there's not a big line up here. Or maybe because they're closed. I think they're closed on Saturdays. I think they're closed on Saturdays. Normally there's a big line of people outside JPS complaining that they overcharged them. I even saw a video with Asafa Paul saying he's been out of Jamaica for a month. And he got a bill for how much, how much thousands of dollars and nobody's in the house. And he has um, solar power, this and all these things installed in the house to help him with his bill. And I feel like the government needs to get JPS under control. They need to get JPS under control, but they won't because there's one electricity company, one water company. And you can invest in these companies. So imagine the government official have stocks like shares in the company. So then there's no motivation to fix anything because the more money the company makes, the more money you make. So why would you want to bring in more companies so there is competition so then the electricity bill and the water bill will get lower because you, there's competition, you know? Even the whole phone phone company before back in the day there was Claro, this company, that company. And you know, bills were reasonable because there's competition. Now it's just flow or digital. Nobody else. Yeah, they need more companies in there so there's more options. And that will force a lot of these companies to deal with the customers better in my opinion and do better work and provide better service because they know that you have options but um, I don't think that's going to happen though the way things is done here they're very they're not proactive I think in Jamaica Jim people that are in charge of Jamaica they're very reactive like something happens then they try to make a change and a lot of times the change is just a nine day talk yeah we're gonna do this we're gonna do it. and then you know a couple of days later back to normal nothing never changed yeah so I'm on my way to the soup man right now yeah last couple of days I've been craving like a decent soup you know I was supposed to come yesterday, but I left my house at like two or a couple minutes before two. And then I saw the traffic. I ended up going somewhere else. And because I never had their food before, I said, let me get something simple. I got fried chicken and rice and peas. It was cold. It was just, it just wasn't good. guard when you're in crossroad and driving you have to be a defensive driver when you're in crossroad oh, man. be on your P's and Q's when you're in crossroad watch this so I didn't even signal sometimes I wonder like things I see people do with their cars it's, you would think it's like a toy <laughs> you know yeah you would, you would think that they would be more careful seeing that if anything happens you're responsible for the repairs you know you gotta go fork out the money for body work <sighs> when I drive in Jamaica I just let Whoever wants to pass me, I just let them go. I don't, I don't even fight with it. No, no, I just let. Cause I know Jamaica is different, man. Different. So I don't fight with anybody. 
You want to go ahead of me? No problem. Yeah, that's how I do my thing when I'm here. Just calm, cool, collective. Calm, cool, collective when I'm here. There's some big potholes. I don't even know how, like, these potholes get so big. When I drive, I take my time, man. I'm in no rush to go nowhere. I can't afford losing a rim or, you know, a tire burst. I can't afford those inconveniences. So I try my best to just take my time when I'm driving. I'm in no rush. Just slow and steady. Because we're going to reach where we're going eventually. So there's no need to, to rush. And then get yourself. Find yourself in a pothole or something. Yeah. There's a crossroad market right here on the right. There's a lady in there, Rasta, she sell um, castor oil and those things. Probably some of the best castor oil I ever bought came from that lady. I bought it in the summer, summer that just passed. Always hustling, man, I love that. They wouldn't allow you in Canada to walk in the walk in between the cars. Imagine you're on the 401 in traffic and you have people there selling your you know your donut, you can buy your jewels, you know. <laughs> Being in traffic wouldn't seem so bad. Wouldn't seem so bad. Even when I was in Miami recently, I can see people come to the cars, you know, selling fruits and oranges and stuff like that while you're at the stoplight i like that i don't know why they don't allow those things in canada and uh, canada to me is too conservative like government should allow people to go out and hustle you know i don't really do that that type of stuff is frowned upon in canada I kind of got out of the congested area crossroad. You can avoid those areas that these times avoided. There's rainforest on the right. And national also is in this plaza as well. Like we're going downtown almost yeah hopefully this camera holds up and it doesn't overheat Oops. upgrade this gas station here on the left it looks really nice Steve Madden, not right there on the left. 
Prestige Bakery also on the on the right, yeah. Alright, so oh Jaja. This guy's not here. Oh, look like he doesn't sell on uh usually he's right here on the right. Look like he doesn't sell on um I'm gonna go check these next guys. Usually him and his mother is there. It's like he doesn't sell on Saturday. I don't know still. I haven't visited him in a couple of years. Like in COVID time when I was I was stuck down here for six months. I came here December 5th and I didn't leave until July 1st. You know, Canada was closing up the borders and this and that. And this was my guy. He sell yam, saltfish, and he's always him and his mom there. Can't get your soup. I don't remember if he sells crabs. There's some next guys, some older guys. I want to see if their soup is ready. I want to get a nice soup, man. Guys, my camera died because of the heat. My camera died because of the heat. So here he is right here. So this is the guy I normally would come to. It's close to the Almond Town area. guys there's a soup right here Lee Ryan every day he's out here he told me every day he's out here one the latest every day holiday is Sunday so if you're in Almantown area I forget what school is by Aerocirc I think Wolmers there's a street right beside the laundromat and dry cleaners yeah just take that street and come. Put me in the work. That man is so bad. And it's, uh, this big, big thing of soup is only a thousand dollars. This big thing is only a thousand dollars. 